Hello everyone, Melanie here. And as always, I'm looking forward to giving you more information to help you, whether with your job search, with your career, or just with networking in general. And today, stop doing bad LinkedIn connection invite requests. This video, now I should say a lot of our videos come from you, where you all have asked us questions and asked us to record videos of our expertise in different areas on LinkedIn career development and networking. This one is a personal pet peeve of mine. Now, I have seen my fair share of LinkedIn connection requests. I have well over 20,000 connections at this point, and I have seen some people do absolutely brilliant connection requests. But lately, what I am seeing happen the most is a lot of connection requests that are driving me insane. <laughs> and it is so important that you get this right. Why is it important? I'm going to tell you because if you don't know the rule of five, you could find yourself in hot water really fast on LinkedIn. Now, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that now and ring that bell for notifications. All right, let's talk about the rule of five on LinkedIn. Don't know what the rule is five of five is? Always remember the rule of five, which is you only get five I don't knows on LinkedIn before they lock your account. Now, what are I don't knows and what does it mean that they lock your account? Well, when you send an invite to somebody, they have the opportunity when the invite comes through to either accept or ignore. And you've probably done both in your history and not even realize that once you click that ignore button, there is another little small thing that comes up that says, I don't know this person. And unfortunately, if five people click on that, I don't know this person, LinkedIn does a lockdown on your account. And you're going to ask me, how do you know this, Melanie? Because it happened to one of our team. Um, and this was actually a while ago it happened to her, but she was sending out connection requests. As when we meet with candidates, a lot of times we'll send out connection requests to the candidates if they haven't already connected with us. And she sent out some and she got more than five I don't knows. And all of a sudden, she could not send out any more connection requests without knowing the person's exact email. It forced her to enter the email every single time. And that can slow you down and be very difficult if you're trying to connect with somebody that you don't know. So it's real important you don't get those five I don't knows. I'm assuming that this was about a couple of years ago, so I'm assuming it's still five. Um, but the net net here is if you if LinkedIn feels like you're spamming and just trying to get in touch with everybody, there's the danger of locking down your account. So the last thing that you want to do when you're trying to connect with somebody is send a system generated connection request. And that is my pet peeve of what I'm getting. And I'm going to tell you what you should be doing instead of this. Please, please. And the ones I'm getting the most nowadays are, um, oh gosh, let me see if I can remember them all because there is like seven or eight. One of them is I use LinkedIn for finding a job and you should too. Well, that's great, but I'm not looking for a job. Another one is, hey, have you heard about LinkedIn? They're the most unbelievable connection. Whoever wrote those, and I don't know if it's a LinkedIn system generated or if some career coach is giving advice to people to do that, do not do that. One, because I'll tell you, when you see the same connection request with that same exact verbiage come through again and again, it comes off so insincere. I'd rather see nothing than I would rather see one of those. So I really don't recommend them at all. So what should you do instead? How do you send a LinkedIn connection? Well, what I always tell people is you need to try and find a connection point. Now, what do I mean by connection point? It can be lots of different things. It could be a person that you're both connected with. Hey, I saw that you commented on so-and-so's post, and I'd really like to have the opportunity to add you to my network on LinkedIn. It could be something that you went to the same school. It's that you're in the same industry, the same profession. Find some connection point with the person that you're wanting to get this network connection and use that when you're writing that note and sending that connection request. Now, the other way to do this, of course, is when you're looking for a job seeker, everybody says, oh, just tell them what you're looking for. No, do not send a LinkedIn connection request saying, do you have a job for me? 
or, um, hey, I'm trying to sell this. Do you want to buy it? Do not do that. Your chances of getting that ignore and that I don't know are going through the roof. You should not be immediately out the gate focusing on a job or selling something on LinkedIn. Now, look, is LinkedIn a, a way for companies to connect with people to sell things to them? Of course it is. Of course it is. Is LinkedIn a system for job seekers to be able to find jobs? Well, of course it is. So there's going to be people that are trying to connect with you for different reasons and different motives. And that's okay, right? As long as they're not offending you or just constantly bugging you. Can you get me a job? Get me a job. Sell me. I want to sell you these eight products, right? So um, don't come out the gate, even if that is your end goal. The key to doing a LinkedIn connection correctly is find that connection point and then focus on the networking. And that's why in that example I gave you is I saw you commented on so-and-so's post. I would really like to add you to my LinkedIn network. Um, I sent one out today that I saw somebody, there was a job seeker who was looking for um, a job and did a post out there saying, you know, I'm really having a hard week. I'm run down and I'm really feeling it difficult to stay focused. And somebody went out there and put a connection, um, put a comment, excuse me, on their post saying, you are not alone. I feel that way too. It, we're going to get through this together. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is somebody that I would like to have as part of my network. So I sent that person a connection request and did a note saying, hi, I saw the comment that you placed on so-and-so's post. And I really resonated with the comment that you put. I would, it would be my pleasure to be able to add you to my LinkedIn network if you're interested. And that was the note that I sent. That person has already accepted and, and sent me a, a note back. So the the key here is focus on the networking, not on your end goal of getting a job or trying to sell something. Network and connect with people. You never know where they're going to help and everything else. Do not send any of those system generated messages or ones that you're getting. They will backfire. I personally will tell you, though, when I get connection requests in, if I get one that's just a you know connection request with no note, I'm an open networker, so I accept them, right? Uh, I accept almost all of them. But if I have one that somebody sent me a special note, I try always to take the time to reply to the note because that, to me, is what true networking is about. All right, everyone, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.